presenter, Sonny Marie Hackman, a storyteller who hus whose husband says she would be a good cook if she cooked the same dish twice, whose kids say, Mom, you're fun, and who she says eats more than her share of humble pie. Please, a big round of applause. <laughs> I have the Ken and Barbie of kitchen appliance. I have the Mr. Coffee and Mr. T. Oh, but Mrs. T, she's been discontinued, which makes her even more valuable. When Ronco Pub Peel made their pasta machine, they knew there was a woman out there that would actually make chocolate lasagna. <laughs> and I am sure. In fact, I'm, I'm being considered for a network cooking show entitled That's an Edible. <laughs> right now, I'm working on the complete collection of Black and Decker appliances. Those appliances made and marketed by the male. Like Mae West said, a man, a man in the kitchen is worth two on the street. <laughs> but my favorite kitchen appliance is my juice man, too. I mean, don't you think he looks like Johnny Depp? I mean, I love him. And you've got to love a man that can give your family their five fruits and vegetables in one glass, in one sitting, and without complaint. You can take a whole watermelon, a whole cantaloupe, a whole um, nubby scan, rind, everything, put it in your juicer. The only thing that doesn't have any appeal for the juicer is the banana. Now my grocer bags up their overripe fruits and vegetables and sells them for a dollar a bag. One day I spied an old bag with a, you can laugh, I wrote that joke. An old bag with a fruit in it that I didn't recognize, but it was marked, it said persimmon. I couldn't wait to get that fruit home and try it in my juicer. I brought it home, I cut the little lacy top off and took it right out to the compost pile. When my teenage daughter came home from school, I put that juice down in front of her. And as always, she began to guess all the fruits and vegetables that were in that juice that day. And I said, I'll bet you, I'll bet you a hundred dollars that you can't get all the fruits and vegetables in the juice tonight. Well, that was quite a gauntlet to throw down in front of a teenager. And she began to guess. But she got them all, but one. The persimmon. <laughs> when her dad got home from work that night, she met him at the front door. Mom said that she would give me $100 if I got all the fruits and vegetables in the juice tonight. And I've got them all but one. If you get that one, I'll half the money with you. <laughs> yes, and so they guessed, and they guessed, and they guessed. And they got them all but one. That night we got in bed, pulled the covers up under our chin, my husband leaned over to give me a good night kiss. I knew it. I knew it. My money would be safe and you would never get it. He was up out of that bed. He went down, he grabbed the flashlight by the bed and he went out to the compost pile. And he rooted around out there until he found that little lacy top. He didn't know what it was either. <laughs> He's Canadian. <laughs> he came in the house. He put on his pants. He picked up his car keys and he headed out the front door. I said, at 12 o'clock, the deal's off. <laughs> it was about 11.30. He was gone for about 20 minutes. He came back home. His hand was behind his back. And he said, could it be a pepper? A pepper? Oh, no, 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 it's not a pepper. No. He said, I'm about out of time, aren't I? 
said, yep, you are. He said, well, could it be a persimmon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I've been betrayed <laughs> by my man, my juice man, too. <laughs> to my neighbor for a hundred dollars. <laughs> but I went out and bought a Vitamixer. Fifty-two hundred. <laughs> <laughs>